Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me today at Chrissy's Wig Room. My name is Chrissy and I just want to thank you for joining me for this uh, show and sell video. I have not done a show and sell video of wigs in quite some time and um, I have been going through my wig closet and just decluttering pieces that I am not wearing. Um, I have incurred several medical bills over the past few months due to my dislocated elbow and um, I have to come up with the money for that. I also um, have cut back on, you know, hours of work, not getting as much overtime. So um, I appreciate any assistance and any help that you can get. And this way you can also uh, pass on the savings uh, to you so that you will be able to enjoy these wigs. They've been sitting in my closet for a long time and uh, they're just not getting anywhere. So I thought I would go ahead and do this show and sell video and show you what I currently have. So the first piece that I'm going to show you is a Tressalore Blaze wig, and it is in the color Dark Amber HL, and HL stands for highlights. Um, this is a beautiful color if you are brunette, that you wanna go lighter and you just wanna kind of lighten up a little bit and have some uh, lighter blonde tones in there. This is a perfect piece for you because it is still very much brunette and then you just have those lighter blonde pieces throughout, um, especially there are some pieces right here around the face. They'll look really beautiful when you take the piece and pull it back. Um, you can really see those highlights framing the face. So that is beautiful. So this is the dark amber highlight color and I'm going to do a quick spin for you. Um, this one is brand new with tags and I do have the original box. Um, so all of these wigs will be listed in the description box down below. If you click on the description box you will find a link to my eBay store and if you go out to my eBay store and you do a search um, you will find the wig listed. Um, they are currently, this wig is 200 or best offer so please please make offers. I want to move these uh, along and pass the savings along to you. So these are going to be listed in my store as buy it now or best offer. Everything is free shipping and this one does have the original box. And so let me do a quick spin just so you can see how gorgeous Dark Amber HL is. Very, very pretty color. It's, um, it's kind of like a medium brown, but then you've got those beautiful tones in there. So this is the Dark Amber HL, and especially the highlights are centered around the face, which is really pretty. Let me go ahead and show you the inside cap construction. So Tressalore um, always puts the name of the, uh, the shade name inside of their tags, which I really like. So it's got the Dark Amber HL listed here. Uh, we do have the Velcro strap type adjusters. This is an average cap size. We have open wefted sides and back, ear tabs. And then you've got a beautiful mono top there, which allows you to part it in any direction and a beautiful lace front. And again, this is Tress Allure's Dark Amber HL, look fabulous collection. A beautiful, beautiful piece. All right, so let me go ahead and pull out the next style. Um, so the next style is also another Tressalore Blaze. Uh, this is in the color English Tea HL, which is also English Tea Highlights. That's what that stands for. Um, so this is just a beautiful brunette. It's like a beautiful, perfect medium brown. Uh, color. There are some highlights, a little bit lighter brown highlights around the face. You'll see some lighter highlights around the face. Uh, but again, this has the same cap construction as Dark Amber HL. I'm going to go ahead and put this on so you can see. So this is Tressalore's Blaze in the color English Tea Highlight. Beautiful, beautiful piece, medium length. Same gorgeous mono top, and this also is has the tag still attached, and it does come with the original box. Um, these are listed at 200 or best offer, um, so I will take less. I've had these for a long time, and I just would like to move them to somebody that will wear them. They've been sitting in my closet now for almost two years, and um, 
in their boxes and I would just like to move them along to someone who would wear them. I've been getting more into um, just some other budget friendly options and even human hair pieces and uh, really been kind of wearing those human hair pieces as my daily drivers uh, because they are so soft. Um, and so I've been loving my wig she wigs that I have been able to purchase. Uh, I was gifted one by wig she that I did a review on that was just absolutely gorgeous. And then I was able to purchase another one that I still need to do a review on. Um, but I really have been enjoying those a lot. And so I really need to um, move these along to someone that will wear them and enjoy them and give them some love. And in turn, I will be able to pay some things down. Uh, right now, I'm just in a bit of a financial struggle because, uh, like I said, I'm not getting as many hours at work and bills are still piling up. So I thought I should go through my wig collection and sell some things that I have. This is just a really gorgeous all over medium brunette color, uh, about a level eight, level six, level eight color. Very, very gorgeous, very natural. And the highlights, the thing that I love about Tressalore highlights, they're very, very natural. Um, so there's no stripey looks or anything like that. All right, so the next pieces that I'm going to be showing are from Nell's Wigs. And then I also have a couple from Chelsea Smith Crowns. Um, now these are more budget friendly options and they are synthetic. Um, all of them are average cat size. Um, so this next one that I'm going to be showing is a Nell's Wig. Um, this is called Cindy Burgundy. So it's a gorgeous burgundy color if you love um, if you're a brunette and you just love a little bit of a deeper burgundy uh, a little bit of a reddish tone in there some maroon you would love this color and uh, these are more budget friendly so these are listed on my store at $60 or best offer so this one's 60 or best offer it's free shipping um, and these will come in a Nell's wig bag this was bought from Nell's wigs um, Nell's wigs is a synthetic budget friendly retailer that I like to order from um, that sells a lot of really beautiful synthetic pieces at budget-friendly costs. Um, so I'm passing the savings along. This one's going to be 60 year best offer. Um, now this one was originally much longer than this. I cut off about four and a half inches um, from the length. So this is just like a standard bob. It has a middle part. Let me go ahead and show you the inside cap construction. So we have hook and loop adjusters. You have a comb here. You have open wefted sides and back. Um, in place of an ear tab, there are just combs. So you've got combs. I did already cut the lace. Um, this was only worn once. Lace is cut, there is a middle part there. But it's a beautiful piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and slip her on real quick just so you can see what she looks like. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous burgundy tone here. It's really, really pretty. So if you love those straighter synthetic pieces, you might really enjoy this for the fall. It's a beautiful fall color. So this is Cindy Burgundy. It was trimmed up shorter so that it would not be as long. And it's just a really pretty, pretty burgundy color. It's a straight style. Um, so for those of you that love bobs and love the straighter styles, um, this is very sleek. You could add some curls to her as it is a heat friendly synthetic. So you can definitely add some heat to her. And if you want to know all of the specs and dimensions and things like that, um, when you go to the listing on eBay, there is a screenshot from the original purchase that shows all of the dimensions. So all of that stuff is listed in there as well. Um, but this, this current, this one here is $60 or best offer and it is free shipping. Okay. So the next piece I have is another Nell's wig. Um, this is called Nell's wig Sherry. It's a beautiful, almost like a reddish brown, gorgeous color. So we've got like a reddish brown, 
and then you've got some blonde highlights in there and it is pretty long um, but this one's called Nels Wigs Sherry s-h-e-r-i really really pretty the lace has not been cut on this one um, because I decided it's not the right color for me um, so this does come with the lace intact the lace will need to be cut so this one's a brand new wig and um, this one's also 60 or best offer a 60 or best offer on this wig here let me show you the inside cap for sherry so for sherry we've got hook and loop adjusters there comb in the back um, this is closed wefted so you've got closed wefted and there's a comb right there in place of the air tab and then you've got a lace front here middle part if you have not tried Nell's wigs highly recommend it if you're looking for a budget-friendly option and um, to add to your synthetic wig collection Nell's wigs has some amazing amazing pieces I'm so thankful I found her and I'm also going to talk about another synthetic budget-friendly wig place that I have found so this is Sherry it's a really really pretty long piece um, and you could cut this as well any of these are uh, stylable so if you want to cut them to a shorter length you can take them to a stylist or um, with it being budget friendly this would be a good way to um, learn if you're wanting to learn yourself how to trim a piece I have you know done trial and error and trimmed many pieces myself to get the look that I'm wanting to achieve. Uh, but again, this is just a really pretty piece. Definitely has those fallish vibes with the lighter uh, reddish brown and then some blonde highlights mixed in. So this is, and again, this is Nell's Wig Sherry. It is 60 or best offer, free shipping. Okay, so this next piece is by another budget-friendly retailer that I absolutely love. This is by Chelsea Smith Cosmetics. Uh, many of you probably have heard of her. This is a budget-friendly retailer. This is Summer Becky. Um, now, the only reason I'm selling this is because I don't wear blondes. Um, but this is a gorgeous blonde curly piece, perfect length. And this is um, just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. If you haven't experienced Chelsea Smith crowns, um, they are the, the best synthetic pieces that I have found. In fact, I like them better than many of my two to $300 synthetic wigs. Uh, the fibers are just luxurious. They are so soft. And I am so excited about um, finding this wig company. Um, so this one's Chelsea, this is by Chelsea Smith crowns and it's, the style is called Summer and it's Summer Becky. So it's a shorter length, curly style, really beautiful, looks gorgeous, spritz with some water. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the inside cap construction. Now this one is 100 or best offer. Um, so her, her wigs run right around 120 to 130, and I'm selling it at 100 or best offer. It is brand new with tags still attached. And this shows that it's Summer Becky. Um, so for the inside cap construction, you do have the hook and loop down here to adjust it. Um, and then you've got the comb here. This is an average cap size. Again, we have the closed uh, weft. Her wigs come with this added band here that you can remove. It is removable. It has little um, hooks there that you can remove it. Um, but this just gives you some added security when you're putting it on your head. Um, so you can either choose to wear it with this strap or you can take it out of the wig and just wear it with the adjustable hooks down here. In place of ear tabs, we do have those combs. And then um, her wigs are amazing. So like this one here has this gorgeous temple to temple lace front. It does have to be cut. And then you've got that part there, uh, but it's a wide part. So you can definitely do a lot of moving the part around. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and show you. Um, I have this one in a brunette and I absolutely love it. Her crowns have very, very fastly, very quickly is the word I should say, very quickly have become my favorite synthetic wigs. They're all about 120 to 130. And about every two weeks, she has a live show on Tuesday where she shows all the newest styles. 
and they're gorgeous. And the fibers are gorgeous. They're every bit as good as a $300 wick. And I'm not just saying that, I'm not kidding. I would recommend checking her out if you're looking for synthetic pieces and you don't want to spend $300. These are amazing. The parts are amazing. The hairlines are amazing. They're really, really good pieces. And you can get so much more curl just by taking your bottle of spray, your bottle of water in a spray bottle and just spraying it down. And you'll get these gorgeous, gorgeous curls. So this is a beautiful style. It is a perfect length too, it is not too long. And it rivals so many styles. I can think of so many dupes um, for this style in so many of the other high-end name brand wigs. I'm sure you can think of many, but it has lots of bounce to these curls. The curls feel luxurious. The caps on these wigs feel so good. So I'm super excited about it. I've been buying a lot of her wigs because I don't have the money to buy the $300 wigs anymore. So when I want a wig, um, you know, I have to spend like $120, $130. Um, and so I am so thrilled that I found her website and I just ran into it a few months ago. Um, I saw somebody post something about Chelsea Smith on Instagram and I was like, wow, what is this? And I went and checked it out and I saw these gorgeous brunette pieces. She has a lot of really pretty brunette wigs with uh, gorgeous highlights for brunette lovers. And there's also a lot of blonde wigs too. There's so many pretty blonde ones. Um, but I was just thrilled with the um, cap construction, the way they feel on. She sends them in these beautiful silky bags that you zip and they just feel so luxurious and you really feel like you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. So um, the only reason I'm selling this one is just because it's not the right color. Um, so if you're a blonde lover and you want to try this out, um, just go out to my eBay store in the link down below. Look for Summer Becky and it's $100 or best offer. So it's just such a pretty piece. Um, she just has a lot of really gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. Okay, let's see what we have next. Okay, so next I'm going to show you another Chelsea Smith crown. Uh, this one is called Amy Lux. And <clears throat> this one also I only wore it one time. And I just decided it wasn't for me because of the curtain bangs. Uh, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous brunette. So look at this color. This is Amy Lux, and it's by Chelsea Smith Crowns. Beautiful shoulder length, wavy style there. And then in the front, you have these gorgeous lighter brown money pieces there in the front. Um, so again, for cap construction, I keep looking down because my cat's on the floor. <laughs> um, for cap construction, we have the same thing, the hook and loop. Um, you have this adjustable strap here that you can remove. Um, so you do not have to keep that in the wig if you do not want it. Um, but I love that her wigs come with that because that is an added uh, extra layer of security in your wig. And then um, for the... So here's what's amazing. So this is the Lux edition. Um, so Lux just means that you're basically getting like a mono top here. Uh, this is all lace, but that allows you to part it in any direction. So you can literally part this in any direction. And that's what's amazing about Chelsea Smith crowns. She has so many beautiful pieces that have that free parting style like that. And I am just blown away that she is able to offer them at the prices that she does. So I'm also selling this one for a hundred or best offer. Look how cute this style is. So if you love brunette and you love curtain bangs and you want like a shoulder length, style this is perfect and it has these really cute face framing highlights there and it's just a really cute shaggy shaggy cut very bouncy very beautiful gorgeous shaggy cut and I just think it's so awesome that we can get these beautiful synthetic pieces and see, this one can even be clipped back. So we can get these gorgeous synthetic pieces for much less. All right, let me see if I have, okay, I think that was my last piece. Um, so I have the, I had the two Mills wigs and then the two Chelsea Smith crowns. Um, so these last two 
pieces, the first two pieces that I showed are Tressilor Blaze. The second two pieces are by Nels Wicks. And then these last two pieces are by Chelsea Smith Crowns. Um, so I hope that you all are doing well. I appreciate you joining me today um, for this video and um, just wanting to kind of get these out there. Um, unfortunately, eBay um, has lowered my rating to below standard and nobody can find my listings anymore. And so even though I'm listing stuff, I'm still listing stuff on eBay. Nobody's finding my wigs. Nobody's finding my clothes. Nobody's finding anything that I'm listing. Um, and the reason they lowered my um, seller rating to below standard is because I had too many transactions that they said I canceled because I was out of stock or couldn't find them. And I didn't know at the time that um, once you get over 2%, they will change your seller rating to below standard. And unfortunately, when they do that, it also uh, creates it so that I cannot promote my listings anymore. So nobody can find, basically, I have about 440 items listed on eBay and nobody can find them. And I don't know how to get out of that because I would have to list probably hundreds of items and then they would have to sell in order to get out of that below standard. Um, rating. So I'm not very happy about that. You know, not only am I um, having issues because I am not getting as many hours at work, um, but, you know, usually eBay would make up for it, but nobody's finding my listings anymore. So that's why I decided I would go ahead and do this show and sell video. Um, and even if you don't buy a wig, even if you just um, browse the eBay store, if you purchase anything in the store, even if it's just a clothing item, it will definitely help my rating. And it will definitely help me to, um, you know, continue to um, pay pay the things I need to pay and continue to buy wigs and bring content. Um, so it really does help. I really appreciate it. I have had such a hard uh, last, ever since April 28th, that's when I dislocated this arm. And it will not move past here. And um, I have just struggled a lot. It will not move up. And I, it will not move all the way down. So it stays at this angle and it's, it's been a challenge. I have had to literally learn how to basically do everything with this hand. And there's many things that I still can't do. Like I finally learned, I stopped wearing wigs for about four or five months. I finally learned in this past month, I finally have gotten good at just grabbing it with one hand and, and pulling it on my head. Uh, but it's been a real struggle. I can't put necklaces on anymore. Um, so I've been trying to buy like long necklaces from Timu. And things like that just so that I can wear. I've basically just been in dresses um, because it's even hard to get pants on since I can't straighten my arm. And um, I've been in physical therapy. I've seen, you know, the bone surgeon. They do not see that surgery is good. Um, at this point, they want me to continue physical therapy and also try a jazz brace. So I'm working on that. Uh, but physical therapy is very expensive. And so right now I can't even I can't even do physical therapy because it costs $75 a visit. And that's with insurance. I have, you know, employer paid insurance and I pay high dollar for the insurance, but even with insurance, I have to meet my deductible, which is $500 before the visits would only be like $12 a visit. Still haven't met the $500 deductible because I ran into financial problems. I had to just stop physical therapy because um, we weren't seeing any progress on my arm. So we just felt, I and the physical therapist just felt it was not um, benefiting me and I was paying a lot of money, you know, for these visits that aren't, we're not seeing any range of motion progress. So it's been a really tough summer ever since I fell down because I have incurred all these bills and I'm not telling you all this for a sob story. I'm just letting you know what's been going on with me. Um, there's been a lot of challenges uh, with that. And then I was on Mount Jaro for about a month and I was just so sick. I was hoping for a different outcome. As many of you know, I tried Ozempic last year and um, did not have good success with it due to the side effects. So the doctor thought that Mount Jaro might work out for me, but I'm having the same issues with Mount Jaro that I was with Ozempic. And I don't know if, you know, if I just stuck it out longer, if those Symptoms would go away, but just the constant 24-7 nausea, feeling like vomiting, going three or four days without being able to eat anything, and still not feeling hungry, even on the lowest dose. Uh, and it has a lot to do with 
the digestive issues. My stomach does not always work properly and does not always digest food properly. And Mount Jaro slows down the digestion system even more. So I think my biggest issue is that my stomach is already slowed as it is from the diabetes. And then when you add the Mount Jaro slowing it down even more, it basically causes my digestive system to come to a screeching halt, which means I can't eat anything until the end of the week when the injection starts wearing off. So we were really hoping that that would work. Um, and I really felt defeated with my whole diabetes progress because I'm 283 pounds now. I was 250 pounds last year when I was on Ozempic and now I'm up to 283 pounds. And that's because I had to go on fast acting insulin and long, long acting insulin. So there's fast and long. I take both. Uh, now, my A1C in the last seven days has been at a 7.4. That is the lowest number I have ever seen. So I'm giving myself a pat on the back for at least getting to that point. It has been a real struggle because I don't like giving up sugar. And that's, you know, anytime I'm feeling down or feeling sad or feeling stressed, I want to gravitate towards sugar. And that is the worst. That is the worst. Um, because when I stay away from sugar, my my levels pretty much come down. You know, when I just eat a normal meal, my levels will come back down into the green um, with, with me taking insulin. So I'm working, I'm trying, I'm trying my best to not snack all day long because it's so easy to do. Um, so just trying to cut those little things out, but I really wish the Mound Jar would have worked for me because I hear that it works wonders for people and it helps people lose weight and I really need to lose the weight. That's the problem. I'm at 283 pounds. Last time I was that heavy was back in my early 20s. I was like 300 pounds. So that's been a real problem uh, because that's what insulin does. Insulin is actually causing me to gain weight in my legs and I already have lymphedema in my legs. I have huge legs. Um, I have lymphedema or lymphedema. I'm not sure which one, but I have really big legs and they look like tree trunks. And it's, it's not, it doesn't look sexy. It doesn't look pretty. It doesn't make me feel beautiful. Um, so that's why I turn to wigs and makeup and try to, you know, make myself feel pretty that way. Lately, I have been into red asthma nails. I am not wearing any right now. But red aspen nails have been a game changer. If you have not tried those press-on nails, I highly recommend red aspen nails. They are the best, and they have so many different sizes. Um, they're including everybody. There's even sizes for my little teeny tiny pinky in their kits um, so that I can finally wear some beautiful nails. Um, so it really helps when I put a, you know, put a fresh pair of nails on and you know put that wig on and put some makeup on. I really do feel... Feel like I can conquer the world and face the day, um, but it hasn't been easy. This this past summer, um, ever since I fell down, it's just been, it's been a real nightmare. Like falling down, and seeing how much worse it is to dislocate your elbow. Dislocating the elbow is like worse than even breaking a bone. And I've never broken a bone, but the pain that I felt from that dislocation and just the fact that I can't move it like I used to, like that's the most it'll go. And you would think by now, I mean, it's been April 28th is when I fell, so it's been months since the fall, um, but it's just like stuck in one position. So if I get money again, I'm gonna try to start the physical therapy back and they're gonna order a certain brace that's supposed to like kind of move your arm up, but it costs money and I just, I don't have the money right now. I mean, I've got 40 bucks in the bank account right now until next Friday. And then I start all over again with, it's all gone. By the time I pay all of my bills that I have to pay, then there's just no money left. There's no fun money left. Um, so it's real stressful. It's just been, like I said, having all these medical bills pile up and I'm like, well, I have to decide what I'm going to pay. And certain things are just have to set because I don't have the money. So I hope that you all are doing well. I just kind of wanted to um, throw that out there to let you know what's been going on. For those of you that have kind of been wondering where I've been, it's just been, ever since I fell down, I have just had so much trouble uh, getting back into the groove of things. I really want to get back into wig reviews and um, showing pieces because I have so many gorgeous pieces from Chelsea Smith uh, that are really some great budget-friendly pieces. Um, 
that I'm really happy with. I, I really, really enjoy a lot of these pieces that I've gotten, but it's just been so hard when you only have one arm. It's so hard to kind of get back into the groove of things. So I'm getting there. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get my groove back and get <laughs> doing these reviews again because I really miss it. I just love uh, being able to come down here to my basement and talk to you guys and show you the pieces. And I really, I really do miss it. Um, so I appreciate those of you that have stuck around and still support me and still thanking me and still pray for me. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me um, that you have not forgotten and that you are there. And I hope that you all are doing well. I hope that you're getting ready for the fall season. It's all things pumpkin spice, hot cocoa. I absolutely love it. My favorite drink right now is from Dutch Bros. And it is the caramel, the caramel, the salted caramel hot cocoa. So if you have a Dutch Bros in your area and you love hot cocoa, try the salted caramel hot cocoa. It is like the best hot cocoa. I don't think I've ever had a hot cocoa with salted caramel in it. But it is like the best salted caramel hot cocoa I've ever tasted. So check that out. It's really awesome. Um, love it when I'm in the mood for hot cocoa. And it's been cold already a few mornings here in Kansas. I just kind of gravitate to that salted caramel. It really gives me all the feels of fall. And then um, I went to the grocery store this morning and I got some apple cider. Uh, my grocery store sells, they have, we have like a, a cider mill somewhere in Kansas. Um, I'm sure from out on a farm and they bring their homemade apple cider in and sell it at the grocery store. And so a few of my coworkers had brought some to work and I was like, oh, I have to go get some. So I asked them where they got it and asked them where the brand was. And um, the one that my coworker got was a cinnamon spiced, or not a cinnamon spice, but a cinnamon apple cider. And it was so delicious. She brought some to work and let me have a cup of it. And I was just in love with it. But when I went to the store, they were out of it. So I just got the regular apple cider, but it's by the same a company called Lewisburg Cider Company, I think, and they're out of they're out of a small town in Kansas. So it's grown here in Kansas and grown on a farm and uh, packaged here. And I just love that. I love supporting our farmers and our local grown um, local grown communities. So again, I appreciate you watching. If you uh, like any of these wigs, um, just go ahead and go out to my store and you can purchase them there, and I'll get them shipped out to you. I hope that you all are doing well. And I appreciate you sticking around. If you like these type of videos, give me a thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. If you're new to my channel, if you're new to wigs and you want to know all things wigs and just see some different wig reviews, um, I do try to show, you know, some high end, but also a lot of budget friendly options because I know we are all looking for a good deal on beautiful hair. So um, stick around for more reviews and more to come. So I will see you all soon and I appreciate you watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day and take care. See you later.